Hello, I'm Papa Swag. Hello, I'm Ben. And together we are Serial United. On this channel, we talk about cereal and anything related. Papa Swag, how's it going today? Doing pretty good. It's a nice uh, rainy day here where we're at. Yeah, sometimes rainy days are good, other days are not. But today, I have an awesome news for you. What's that? We get to try cereal waffles. What? Waffles and a cereal? Yes, aren't you excited? And uh, go ahead. I like waffles. Yeah? But I've not been a big fan of Eggos because Eggos, you put them in a toaster and it doesn't taste as good as a homemade waffle. But I am looking forward to this cereal. And Ben, could you tell our viewers how we discovered this cereal? Yes, we discovered this cereal. We were, me and Papa Sly, we were going to the grocery store one night and we came across this cereal and we were like, we gotta do a video on it. So here we are doing the video for you guys. And personally, Eggo waffles have always been a childhood like favorite for me whenever I woke up in the morning in the summer. I always popped them in the toaster, it's quick and easy. But the only thing I have a problem with Eggos is for some reason they were always soft and they were really plain. So I always had maple syrup on, on deck and I'm hoping for some maple syrup flavor in this, but if not, I might have to add some of my own. Very interesting. Now I did notice on this box, Ben, I'm just kind of reading the box because one of the, the highlights of being a Cereal United lover. Wait, and also being Papa Swag, you love reading cereal boxes. Yes, and as a Papa Swag, I love reading cereal boxes. I like to read the labels. I like to read stuff like Thinamon and uh, uh, Reduced Iron, Nisamine, Hydrochloride, Riboflavin, Folic Acid. I don't know what how to say those words. But oh, you love them. Yep, I like to read them. The other thing I always like is the back of the box. And then this back of the box, it says Breakfast Banter. So Ben and I, while we eat this today, maybe we'll have a little bit of bantering going on. I don't even know what that word means. I think it means... It's like teasing. Teasing or, discuss yeah. or maybe it means discussion. Maybe we'll have a serious theological or philosophical um, talk about uh, how the world began or something like that. Or maybe not. It's too early for that. <laughs> Papa Swag, I noticed something. What's that? On the box it says sweet, crunchy taste, and it says maple flavor. I didn't notice that when I got the box. Did you know Maple that? flavor. I kind of, uh, I think, was re because I'm a box reader or a cereal box reader, I did notice the maple flavor, but it's a good thing you brought maple syrup in case we needed to add that extra touch of maple flavor to it. So let's begin. We're going to, today, I think, uh, did you want to open the box or did you want me to? I think I got it last week, so you get it this week. All right, all right. This week I get to open the box. And I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So it says lift tab open. So I'm opening the tab to close and serve. T I'm not closing the box. I don't need that instruction. I'm getting it right there. And there, I'm going to open the box. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Get that little spout there. And uh, that means, oh, I can smell it smells like maple syrup. Let me get a sniff. Oh yeah, that smells like early morning, Saturday morning breakfast. Oh yeah. And only if they had Saturday morning cartoons like when I grew up, it would be perfect. Oh yeah. All right, Ben, I'm gonna, since I opened it, you can pour it first. Oh, okay. Man, that smell is, Ooh. Ooh. maple syrup heaven. Like we're in Vermont or something. Okay, I got me some, get you some, so. All right. Here's yeah. what they look like if you were curious. Little round circle that does not look waffle like, but it does look ego. Let go of my ego. Since That's, you get to pour first, since I poured them. All so, right. Nope. The milk does not smell like maple syrup. Oh, it smells so. It smells like maple syrup around here. If you guys were here, oh, you guys, you guys would like. There we go. There's the milk. Here, use the milk to you. Thank you. Let's hope I don't spill like you know previous episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Good job, Mr. Benjamin. Thank you, Papa Swag. All right. I'm ready to eat. Are you getting the edges like Aunt Rose taught us? Yep, I'm mixing the cereal in, the milk gets soggy. Are we ready to, to take a couple bites? And... Yeah, I'm kind of nervous, are you? No, that's no maple syrup. I'm uh, not nervous about maple syrup. Let's go let's for it. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Papa Swag, I'm disappointed. It says maple flavored. There is not enough maple in there for me. What's your thoughts? I think it's 
a nice cereal, just enough sweetness. I thought it was going to be a much sweeter cereal, but it just seemed to have just the right amount of sweetness for me. Oh, I think I need some syrup. <laughs> okay. If you think so, I think it has enough sugar in it. You think so? I think so. I think it has enough. I think I need to try some. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of sugar. Oh, this is going to. Let's see. Let's see if this is a little bit better. What do you think? Oh, yeah. That's, the, that's what I was waiting for. However, there's a really nice crunch. It's a delicious crunch. I think it's just sweet enough. I don't need the maple syrup, but maybe mm. I'm just an old man. Maybe. Mm. I'm just an old man, but I am Papa Swag, so maybe it doesn't count for me. Because yeah, maybe not. I'm an angel. Maybe I'm an ageless wonder. Who knows? Only, only time will tell. Yes, this is true. So, since you actually like this cereal, I'm gonna let you grade it first. All right, I'm still debating it. Would you like some syrup? No. No? Okay. I'm going to keep eating it. It's so good. This did remind me of those times in the, in the late 70s and early 80s. Growing up and watching Saturday morning cartoons and then advertising sugar cereals. This had that kind of sweetness to it. it had a nice crunch in the milk. Um, I believe it's a really delicious cereal. I'm going to give it um, the... Only drawback, maybe maybe it wasn't as sweet as some people expect it to. Like me. Maybe it had a little bit more of a maple flavor to it. Didn't have that maple flavor. Like me. Like like Ben. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. Or no, we're doing great. We're doing great today. So I'm gonna give That's this. A C. I'm gonna give this a B. I'm gonna give this cereal a B. So you give it an eight. I'm giving it. Well, no, we're not doing numbers. Either. I'm taking but the numbers out. Eight divided by ten equals eighty, which equals a B. It depends on. Okay. That's right. I'm giving it a B. Giving it a B? Yep. Alright. Would you like to hear my thoughts? Yep. Alright, I love the crunch. The flavor is just a little too dry for me, so I added some syrup, made it way better. So without the syrup, it's gonna be a low C. And then with the syrup, I give it a low B. It's it's a good cereal, just not as sugary as I was expecting it. Especially when it said maple flavored. I was just really expecting it to be really sweet, and it just wasn't. But it's not a bad cereal. I mean, I probably would eat it again. I don't know about you. I would probably eat it again. Again, I'm not a big fan of the sugar sweetened cereals, but this was a delicious sugar sweetened cereal. So me and Ben are bantering because we have a little bit of a disagreement. I think I give it a little bit of a higher grade, but then again, I've been a fan of cereal my entire life. And so I always love cereal. Cereal is great. It's one of the greatest things that ever happened to America. Is I agree. It's fantastic. Yep. So. So we bantered all about, so you crave it a, a, a C without the syrup. And so you really your grade is without the syrup because if you're going to buy this at your local grocery store, you're not going to get the maple syrup. But you could buy it on the side. But you could buy it on the side. You could put maple syrup. I don't think it needs that, but like I said, I give, the, give it a grade of a B. Ben gave it a grade of a C. Is there any other comments or anything else you'd like to talk this week about, Ben? Um, um, there's also other flavors. We just did the home style one. There's also a blueberry flavor we saw, but we thought just doing one would be okay. That's correct. We did not try the blueberry one. Again, we're not big fans of fruit, so we did the one that we think we would have liked the, be the best. And so... Then we like original, and this is original. Yep. Now I'm getting a little bit of kickback of that maple flavor as it's layering in my mouth. It's like a kickback cereal. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting stuff from Papa Swag here. So let's go ahead and uh, if you don't have anything else, uh, Ben, let's just wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, if you'd like to uh, encourage you or if you would consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, commenting down below, if any cereals you would like us to do a review on, let us know. And in addition to commenting below, if you've eaten this cereal, we'd like to know what your thoughts are on Kellogg's Ego Maple Flavored Home Style Waffle Cereal. So we'd like to hear your opinions about that, so please make a comment. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know, you're notified when we post a new video. Yep, every time you and, and like Ben said, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget. Grab a spoon. Grab a bowl. Grab your favorite box of cereal. Pour in the milk. And enjoy. Till the next video, I'm Papa Swag. I'm Ben. Have a great week.